and Sally's back with another lesson from our Bibles, the very best book in the world. Ethan, Wendy, do you remember who came to talk to us last week? Do you remember who that man was? How about you, Anna and Sutton? Do you remember? I'm sure you do. Noah. Noah came to tell us about, what is that thing? Remember? Ayla. Kira. Do you remember what that is? It's a big boat, but we call it, what do we call it? An ark. We call it an ark, but it's just a big boat, a very, very big boat. It had to be so big because what's on there? Do you remember? What did God put on there? Stacy, Caroline, what's on there? There are all the animals. How many of each kind? Do you remember? Two of each kind and one was a male and one was a female a boy or a girl do you remember why daddy and mommies god was making sure that when all of this was over and the world was all clean again when the animals came out they could have babies now were there any people on there do you remember of course there was noah and there was his wife. And do you remember? He had three sons. And they all had wives. Now, do you think, do you think we can figure out how many people were on there? Can you figure it out? Let's see. How many, how many sons did Noah have? He had three. So there are three men. What about Noah? Four men. Now, each one of those men had a wife. So how many wives would there be? Can we figure it out, Elizabeth? Bethany, how many wives would there be? That's right, four. So how many people are on the ark? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people on the ark. Now, why were those people on the ark? Do you remember what had happened? Remember what Adam and Eve did? They ate that fruit. They disobeyed. So now there was evil in the world. Do you remember what Cain did when he was jealous of his brother? Do you remember what he did to Abel? He killed Abel. And then do you remember God gave Adam and Eve one more son, and that was Seth. And what do we know about Seth that makes him very, very special to us? Do you remember Addie? Lily, do you remember? Yes, he was a great, 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 ever so great grandson, grandfather of Jesus. He was a great, 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 ever so great grandfather of Jesus. And then Noah was a great-great-grandson of Seth. And now Noah has three sons and their wives, so they're gonna be able to have babies too when they come off the ark. So remember last week, God told Noah to go into the ark. God closed the door. Do you remember how many floors were in the ark. Remember, there were three. There was one below, one above, and one in the middle. And there was the one door and one window. God closed that door and then they sat there for seven days. That was, remember, last week Noah went into the ark and they've been sitting there huh, this whole week. <laughs> Nothing happened, but then it started raining, and it rained, and it rained. Do you remember how long God told Noah it was going to rain? 40 days and 40 nights, and not just rain coming from above, but even the earth opened up, and water came out of the ground, so much that the water kept going until it covered everything. It covered the trees, the tallest mountains. So anywhere that 
or Noah or anybody could see, there would be water everywhere, everywhere. It's like being in the middle of the ocean, but no land on each side. So they had to stay in there for a long time. Do you remember how old Noah was when he came out? When he went into the ark, do you remember how old he was? He was 100 years old. And my Bible says that Noah was 101 years old when he came out of the out of the ark. So that means he would have been in there how long? If he was 100, 600 when he went into the ark, then he was 601 when he came out of the ark. He was in there how long? A whole year. All of the animals, the eight people were in there for a whole year. And then finally, one day, the ark Okay, after 150 days, the ark had come to a stop on top of a mountain. Do you know the name of that mountain? Mount Ararat. Can you say Ararat? It's kind of a funny name, isn't it? But that's the name of the mountain where the ark stopped. But there was still water all around. They've already been in there for 150 days. And it came to rest on the Mount Ararat. And the water continued, the Bible says, and remember what book we're looking in? Anybody remember? Genesis, that's right, Genesis. Genesis says that the water continued to go down, but it's going down very slowly. Because if the water was enough to cover the whole mountain and all the other mountains, then it would take a long time for it to go away. Because we know even here, when it rains, there can be puddles, and as soon as the rain stops, that doesn't mean the puddles are gone. It takes the water sometimes a time to go away. Well, this is a lot of water. This is a whole lot of water. So after they sat there for 40 more days, Noah opened the window he had made in the boat and he sent out a raven. Do you know what a raven is? A raven is a black bird. It's kind of, kind of a big bird. But he sent the raven out and let's see what's going to happen. It flew here and there and kept flying around and never came back. So Noah never saw that raven again. It never came back. So then he sent out a dove. And a dove is a white bird. He sent the raven, at, the raven out and it didn't come back. Then he sent the dove out. Let's see what's going to happen. The dove could not find a place to land because water still covered the earth. Couldn't find any trees to land on. So it came back to Noah at the boat. And Noah brought the dove back in. So they waited another seven days, another week. And Noah sent the dove out again. And let's see what's going to happen this time. Oh, in the evening, it came back to him, and it had a leaf in its mouth. So if it had a leaf in its mouth, where did it have to go? It had to go to a tree. So it did find a tree, but it, I guess there wasn't enough space in that tree for it to land. It just got a leaf and came back. So when Noah got the dove back, he knew that the ground was going to be dry before too long, but still has to wait. So finally, one day, he sent out the dove and it did not come back either. So he, then he knew that it was time to open the ark and let the, the animals come out. So God told Noah it was time. It's time to come out. So remember, God closed 
the door when they got in. Sure, he wanted to make sure it was sealed good and tight so water couldn't get in, but he told Noah, it's time. So they opened the door and the animals started coming out. And then, then when they looked all around, the earth was beautiful. So they all came back into a beautiful, fresh, clean earth. And all the animals had the perfect home where they could start their families, have babies. And Noah and his family came out. Whoops, Mrs. Noah had a problem there. Now, do you remember how many sons? Noah had three sons. You know what their names were? He had Shem, Ham, and Japheth. You remember they each had a wife, Mrs. Shem, Mrs. Ham and Mrs. Japheth. Now, do you remember Noah's great great grandfather was Seth? And of course, Seth's daddy and mama were Adam and Eve. But Noah's great great grandfather was Seth. So that means that the three sons are great great great-grandsons of Seth. Now, one of those sons is special to us. Do you remember why Seth was special? Because, and Noah is also special, because they are great-great-great-great-great-great ever so great-grandfathers of, who remembers that? Jesus. So one of the sons was special, and that was Shem. Shem is another great, 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 ever so great grandfather of Jesus. So we're going to find out some more great, 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 great grandfathers and grandmothers of Jesus as we go through our lessons. But now Noah has obeyed God. Remember the first people, Adam and Eve? Mm, not so much. Didn't do very well. But now Noah and all these people are just starting over again. Do you know what the first thing Noah did when he came off the ark? He built something called an altar. Now an altar was a place where people would bring their gifts, their sacrifices to God. Do you remember? That was kind of what got Cain in trouble. He and Abel brought sacrifices, gifts to God. And God didn't like Cain's. But why did he not like Cain's? Because God said, if you do good, then you will be accepted too. So they brought their gifts. Abel's was fine, because probably because Abel was doing the right thing. And Cain's was not. So now Noah built this altar rocks probably, so that they could bring gifts to God. And do you know what he did at that altar? Also, he prayed. Now, let's think. If you had been on that boat for over a year, what do you think you might say to God when you came off? What do you think you might say? Maybe you might say, thank you, God. Thank you for saving us, and thank you that we're off that boat. Do you think? So Noah did give gifts, and he thanked God, and the Lord was pleased with these gifts. They were like Abel's gifts. They were the kind that God liked. And God said to himself, I will never again curse the ground because of human beings. 
Their thoughts are evil when they are young, but I will never again destroy everything on the earth as I did this time. So God is making a promise. He's saying as long as the earth continues, there will be planting, the time that we plant our seeds and harvest, the time that we get whatever grows on those plants, our fruits, our vegetables. So God says there will always be hot and cold, summer and winter, day and night, will not stop. And do you know how God made sure that Noah knew that promise and was going to keep it? He put a rainbow up in the sky. We've had some rainbows lately. Has anybody seen any rainbows when you look out when it's maybe almost stopped raining or the sun starts shining through the clouds a little bit when it's kind of misty? We've had several rainbows lately. So do you know what that means? Every time we see a rainbow, we can say what? God is still keeping his promise. That's why he put the rainbow in the sky, so that people would know God keeps his promises. He made a promise that he would never flood the earth again. Now, do we have floods on the earth? Yes. In fact, there have been some floods lately when there's been a hurricane or a big rain, but it never covers the whole earth. If there is a flood in one part of the earth, other parts of the earth are dry. So God is keeping that promise and he always keeps his promises. So that's one thing we can know. If God says it in here, if he makes a promise, he's going to keep it. So I hope that that's something that can make all of us happy and I hope that you'll remember when you see that rainbow, you can tell everybody you know, God is keeping his promise. There's the sign right there. So I hope everybody has a good week and we'll hopefully get back together in person before long. But for right now, it's just nice to be able to talk to you. Have a good week.